The Star Wars galaxy is filled to the brim with interesting, unique, and strange droids, from anxiety-ridden protocol droids to massive automaton which level and rebuild entire city blocks on massively populated planets like Coruscant. However, alongside the modern droid creations of Star Wars, there are also stranger things in the galaxy. Relics of long-lost civilizations, creations from other eras, even droids from other galaxies. Today, we will be talking about the Abominor, a massive and malevolent droid species which played a role in the extinction of an entire galaxy. But first, you have to start somewhere a little bit more innocent. Star Wars droids and the TV special The Great Heap. So, The Great Heap tells the story of R2-D2 and C-3PO encountering a monstrous droid, the Great Heap itself, on a planet known as Baitu. The Great Heap had been working with Imperial Admiral Screed and had created a mining operation on the planet which was not only destroying droids and using them for scrap and energy, but also sucking the planet's atmosphere dry, destroying the planet and those who lived on it. The Great Heap of course is destroyed by the end of the special as its furnace is extinguished by water, rendering the mechanical king of this planet inactive. But that, of course, isn't all of it. Star Wars droids isn't the most serious part of Star Wars lore. It was very fanciful and fun. But the Great Heap was actually given an extended backstory in later Star Wars Legends works, especially the new essential guide to droids. So the new essential guide to droids explains that the Great Heap is actually a member of a droid race known as the Abominor, which are, and I quote, a unique breed of malevolent, self-constructing automata developed in another galaxy. The Abominor are uncaring, they are incredibly hungry, and they are very violent. Their sole purpose is to consume and to get larger and larger, and in fact, the new essential guide to droids explains that the Great Heap was actually very, very small for a member of the Abominor race, and that some even became larger than planets. The Abominor cared very little for organic life, the visage that the Great Heap and other Abominor sometimes had was a mockery of non-machine life, and the Abominor species as a whole wiped out perhaps millions of planets, with the largest of the species just being unstoppable in their consumption. However, the Abominor weren't just from any galaxy, they were from a galaxy which will be very very familiar to fans of the new Jedi Order, the galaxy which birthed the Yuuzhan Vong. Most organic life in that galaxy was actually wiped out by two droid races, the Abominor and the Salentium, which not only fought organics, but also each other, devastating life across their galaxy. Making things worse was the fact that during the war, the Yuuzhan Vong rose to power, expelled all remaining droids, and in the end, would consume the rest of the galaxy with their own infighting. And that explains a couple of things. We know that the Yuuzhan Vong left the galaxy because of a variety of wars and including the Kremlevian War, and that the galaxy had just been, over time, annihilated of all life. We know the war was precipitated by a massive droid conflict, which probably includes both the Abominor's attack on the Salentium, or vice versa, and the Abominor's attack on the Yuuzhan Vong themselves. This, of course, also explains why the Yuuzhan Vong hate droids, and they see them as sacrilegious, a affront to their religion. Although, again, that's not really new information. More information about the Abominor can also be found on the article The Droids Reanimated Part 2, which, despite being Legends focused, is actually still available on StarWars.com. So there's a few interesting details. Besides confirming the implication in the new Essential Guide to Droids that it was the Yuuzhan Vong that the Abominor fought, it actually says that they very nearly subdued the race. We don't know a whole lot about the Kremlevian War. It's hardly mentioned in the New Jedi Order, so this actually gives us a pretty good idea of how things are going for the Yuuzhan Vong before they managed to succeed. It also tells us that the galaxy learned about the Abominor after studying the body of the Great Heap, specifically that as many as 18 Abominors may have infiltrated the Star Wars galaxy. One of these may have been quite developed, and there's speculation that the world known as Ronyards may actually be an Abominor. This brings up a lot of interesting questions. Why haven't the Abominor continued to feed and grow larger? Why was the Great Heap sort of settled in a relatively small time position? 
Are they biding their time? Are they waiting for something? Have they been somehow scarred by their fight against the Yuuzhan Vong? What would the Yuuzhan Vong say if they came to the Star Wars galaxy and they found an old Abominor lying around somewhere? I don't think they would be too pleased. The Abominor also sort of remind me of Imperial World Devastators, which are basically, like Abominors, massive furnaces which can consume matter and grow larger. They continually improve themselves, they become more powerful. It's really just a nasty recipe for destruction. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to watch The Great Heap or other Star Wars droids episodes, you can find them pretty freely on YouTube and they're in decent quality, so I would recommend that. Sorry that I already sort of spoiled what happens to The Great Heap. I think you guys might enjoy the special anyway. But that's all I have for today. Hope you guys have a good one. Until next time, be safe and may the Force be with you.